Mistral AI have just released a new model, Mistral OCR. Mistral OCR is the best optical character recognition model out there, which actually outperforms GPT-40 and the Gemini models. Basically what it does is it extracts the text, media, and also the images from a file, a PDF file. And it can also read receipts and images and it can make of it structured outputs, which is an awesome feature. All right, so this is what Mistral AI had released. This is the article on their website. And this is a nice example here. This is uh, the file they had uploaded and this was the output. It's quite similar as you can see. The tables and the figures, they are all in there and the structure is almost the same, almost the same though, except no information is lost here, which is a nice, nice thing. And another thing is it can also look at math expressions and equations, which is amazing stuff. This is the original and this is what it made of it. The accuracy of this model is, is really, really high. It's actually the best out there. It's really precise, which is what I like about it. And it's also multilingual. So it can actually transcribe languages which aren't only English, which is great stuff. Okay, this is Hindi, the original and what it did. Okay, on the benchmark, it actually outperforms all of the other models as you can see so we will be working with the api which is what is most used for it and you can look for it on la platform on their website okay so then you make your api key and it's free or if you'd like you could um, do the testing on the chat and you can upload the pdfs right here okay so what we will be doing right now is we will be parsing a pdf file and seeing it okay with the images and everything okay so the file is actually right here as you can see it's on neural networks and the images on it are of neural networks and everything like that and we want to see what it will do with this you can do this in a jupyter notebook or you can do this on google collabs so this is what you do do the installation of the library mistral ai do the importing of mistral ai the api key this will be revoked right after the video okay and the model and also the client set up the client here okay so what's actually happening here is we are doing the parsing of the file okay and we receive all the information right in here in markdown okay and then what next is we are now looking at the markdown okay we are displaying now the pdf file as you can see it's right here this is the information introduction to neural networks okay these are the images okay you can see the brain and other images so it really did a, a good job with it and the information is also there this is exactly what is in there and we can obviously make sure that it's there all the images are there let's just make sure they are there yeah these are some of the images we had seen there this we had also seen so all these images are the ones we see in there, so it's all right. Okay, next up, what we'll be doing is we'll be looking at an image of a receipt. So I actually went at the shop and uh, this is a receipt that received at the shop. We'll be looking at the receipt and we'll make sure that we have a structured output of the receipt in JSON format. So this is what we do right here. This will be the passing of the receipt and receiving it in JSON format. Okay, so you can see here right under markdown, this is where you have uh, the information which is on your receipt. This is all the information, though it's in one line though. Then using Mistral's other model, Pixtra, okay, so we'll be asking it this. This image is OCR in markdown, the information, which we saw up there and then we are asking convert this into a sensible structured json response the output sh should be strictly be json with no extra commentary okay so we only want json format and make sure that it's neat okay and this is what we actually receive here the name of the store the numbers the invoice and the items okay 
Doritos, Lay's and all this information. This is just a lot of things. You can even know who was the cashier at the moment. Okay. And this is the image of the receipt right here. Okay. This is the receipt. You know, everything is exactly the same. Everything's exactly the same right here. One of the other things is also you can use a document URL. Maybe the PDF is online on the internet. So you could link it and then you can actually like see the information or you can actually see the file okay right now we are looking at a file on DeepSeek. okay this is the file we will be looking at okay we will be asking information on the document so this is the messages array and what I was asking as the user what is the last sentence in the document and this is the document url okay the url for the file right here you can see the numbers are the same and everything okay so that's what i asked and i had received my response here okay this is the answer and this is the answer i had received beyond parent cot frameworks numbers 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 investigators and let's see the ending of it okay it ends in llms in mathematical reason so I went and look for the sentence in the PDF and I noticed it wasn't actually the last sentence. Okay. This is where it found the sentence from ranging from somewhere here to there. Okay. Yeah. But if we look at number six here, that is the conclusion. So it might have assumed. So this, I think is the issue of a prompt engineering moving on. What next I asked is under evaluation of LLMs using MMLU, which model or models performed better in abstract algebra and high school mathematics? So what I'm referring to is this. This is the table and this is abstract algebra and it was O3 mini with 96 and this is high school mathematics. It was O1 with 99. Okay, so this is the answer and it actually it actually understood the table i was referencing and it ignored the other problems and it listed them out it was o3 mini and o1 so that's all right okay so it can nicely recognize the tables okay and then after that i went and asked under math data set what is the total number of problems the data set is mathematics and this is the total number of problems 206 okay so then i did the completion and as you can see it's right here though it had referenced also the rest of the data sets it's not a problem this is only a thing of prompt engineering where you can say i only want information on the math data set okay. what i really think about mistral ocr is we can leverage it for reg retrieval augmented generation so it's an amazing thing we can use actually that was that for the video and if you want a few of the notebooks i will link them in the description okay make sure you like and subscribe that to be helpful and let me know what you think about this model and what you would use it for